Hi everybody, this week for our exercise of the week we're going to be looking at the single leg squat and touch. This is a very effective exercise for the legs obviously, but in addition to that it also works on balance and also the muscles of hip abduction, which I'll talk about in a little bit as I describe it on the video. But hip abductors are really, really important muscles for a lot of functional activities, stabilization of the hips, and uh, sports activities as well. So as we take a look at this, I'll point out all the different aspects of the movement. Uh, as it's got a couple of different technical things to take a look at and make sure you're doing so that you do the, uh, the exercise properly. Okay, so the major, major key of this exercise is to keep the foot that's not on the ground in line with the foot that is on the ground. So you want to keep your toes right lined up next to each other. The foot that's not on the ground is going to be off the ground, but not very high. Just an inch or so is all you need, just so that the weight is on the foot that is on the ground. So again, the exercise doesn't work the way it's supposed to unless your feet are in line. And this is really challenging to do, and you're going to feel this in your hips uh, probably for the next couple of days if you've never done this exercise. So just remember that key first of all. Okay, so now keeping your feet in line, you're going to squat down and reach across with the opposite hand. So here I've got my right hand reaching from my left foot and squat down. Try to keep your back straight. And as you keep your back straight, the twisting, or I'm sorry, the reaching across with the opposite hand is also going to involve your core a little bit. Now just remember, my feet are in line the whole time as I squat up and down. So you're going to do this to both legs. Probably I would say to start, try eight to each side. If you can handle ten, then handle ten. There you see I, I lost my balance for a little bit, showing you how much this really does train your balance. Now, the foot that is kept free and in the air and in line with your other foot, make sure it's free, meaning that you don't pin it against the ankle of the foot that's on the ground. A lot of times people have a tendency to do that just to um, help themselves stabilize. You want to keep it free in the air. All right, so there we have the single leg squat and touch. Uh, give it a try, give it some practice. It may take some practice at first to get the form down and the proper depth, especially because there's balance involved, but practice it a bit. And like I said, if you can only get to a certain depth at first, that's fine. Just work on the form, work on the focus, on the balance, and then you can gradually increase the depth of your squat. The goal ideally is to eventually get to the point where you can touch your opposite foot that's on the ground with the uh, hand that you're reaching with. So work on that. If you have any questions, you can get in touch with me. My contact information is on the website. And I hope you enjoy this and you feel it for the next couple of days. Aloha.